Over the past few years, I've been playing and testing various versions of Snowbreak Containment Zone, even back when it was still called Project Snow. I participated in the very first Chinese closed beta as well as every beta up until this point, and man, I truly think that Snowbreak has the potential to be one of the biggest games in the gacha scene. However, there are a few things that I feel should be addressed in this game before release. At this time, Snowbreak is planned to release on Android, iOS, and PC on July 20th, 2023, and today, we are going to talk about Snowbreak and what they can do to make sure that this game keeps players active for years to come. But first, what is Snowbreak? Snowbreak Containment Zone is a third-person shooter with RPG mechanics set in a post-apocalyptic world after the Descent have invaded. The game currently features 15 playable characters that all have their own skills to battle against the titans of this world. Progression in Snowbreak is easy, however it requires a lot of grinding once you reach the mid-game content. There are specific missions that provide the materials necessary for character, weapon, and ability progression. However, the combat is manual every time, and as a result, I can see many players complaining about this. I'm one of those people who like to actually play the game instead of running up my stamina in two or three auto runs for items needed to progress, so I think the approach they are taking is a good one, but I can see those looking to just hop in and hop out of the game complaining about this. This game is going to be more for those who have time to spare instead of those worried about how a game values the short time that they have, because you'll be playing with different builds and different characters. However, the one issue that I do have with all of this is the stamina, as it feels the stamina is drained really quickly in this game since so much grinding for materials is required to progress forward, and sometimes stamina goes before you can even make any real progress, even with manual gameplay. This one will definitely be for those who enjoy grinding and toying around with various characters, weapons, and abilities, but the developers must find balance for stamina and gameplay within the game. The combat is what makes this game shine. Every character has their own specialties in the form of elements and abilities. It's how you use these abilities along with the third person shooter mechanics that help this game stand out. As you progress in the story, you'll find bullet hell mechanics start to become more and more a part of this game's identity. And as far as I know, there are not any current gacha titles that have third person shooter mechanics with bullet hell, so this is a massive opportunity for Season and Dragon Lee Studios as they can shape the entire genre. However, the main issue I have so far is with how short the missions can be, as well as the fact that they aren't entirely voiced. Sometimes you're left hoping that you had a larger canvas to paint on. And what I mean by that is, sometimes the missions and environments are so short that you can't get the most out of the builds that you've created. Now, every boss fight does give you a real opportunity to test out these builds and give you a reason to build them, but there aren't many bosses in the game at this moment. The side content which focuses on combat also help with this, but in order to unlock this content, you must participate in the story, which may push some players away from the game before experiencing the best the game can offer. The feedback that I'd give to Season and Dragon Lee Studios before the game releases is to make sure that there's enough to do in this style of game. Try to balance out the stamina so that we can spend enough time enjoying what you've created, Optimize the mobile version a bit more so the game runs at least at 60 frames per second even in the menus. Increase the bullet hell mechanic so much sooner and condense the amount of tutorial missions to make one or two large missions for players to enjoy instead of jumping in and out of the immersive experience through many stage to stage missions. The game has massive potential and I want to see it realized just as much as you all do. Anyways, this is just my first impressions of the game after well over 50 hours of playing the Chinese and global closed beta tests. I'll have more to say once it releases on July 20th, but for now, I'm going to leave you with some gameplay of the final boss in the closed beta test as the boss shows how much potential this game truly has. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Have a wonderful day, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay chaotic. Peace out everyone. I can't believe I died that way, man. Ain't no way. Okay. Could be a lot of I am clapping him this time. Be careful. Just going to stand there. Ain't no way I am gonna let him do that to me again. I'm too warmer for you.
You're a nut. Going to like this. Don't waste it. Just going to stand there. Okay, okay, wait. Uh, this is when the. Okay, I just, I just gotta run away from these guys. Winter warmer for you. Okay, this is new. This is this is new. This is this is new. You're not going to like this. Futile. You sure you no one tells you not to play with fire? Okay. Leave it to me. Fully loaded. Alright, you're a nut. Going to like this. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I didn't mean to waste that entire He was on the ground and I didn't do anything to him. You're a nut. Going to futile. Oh, the thermal did okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. We need more of that. We need more of that in this game.